For the longest time, most of my pieces were Katrina based. For one thing, I was working with materials I was pulling out of the streets, um, but I also, I was displaced for six months. It was just so toxic that I couldn't stay there. So I ended up staying away for six months, and I'm, you're staying in other people's houses, you know, and I, I had to work. I was, I was really, really obsessed with making work, and I guess I, it was how I was, how I was processing things. This is the piece de résistance. It's, it's just a fabulous piece of monstrosity. I'm going to light it on the inside. I have a cord that's going all the way through that duct. And we're going to put a light inside. And it, there's a wonderful rotor in, inside that looks very sculptural. And uh, so the holes will be illuminated. And the, if people, hopefully people will come close enough to see the rotor inside too. But it's really, it's wonderful. It's this, journey of discovery and see what I can dig up out of the basement, the haunted basement. The name of the piece is Cinderella's Last Stand. And this is a piece actually based on the soap factory because here we are in a disused factory. The Midwest is chock full of them. I mean, just looking out the window, we're surrounded by grain elevators and big, beautiful, formerly industrial buildings. And we no longer are a nation of, of makers. We're not making products. We're not selling what we make. We're not working with, with our hands. Um, yet we have that folklore about ourselves. So um, I'm using almost exclusively found material from the soap factory. And I'm encasing it in um, my own production with my hands, um, stitched fabric, which is kind of like I'm making prom dresses for um, industrial waste, I suppose. And the name of the piece is Cinderella's Last Stand. And, it, and it's... Uh, Again, it's about folklore that we've been told about ourselves as a society, as an American society. We're, we're raised and told that, um, first of all, it's the best country in the world, it's the best possible place and way of living, and um, we have the best health care system in the world, and we're a nation of manufacturers, we make things, you know, our GDP is fabulous. And those things are no longer true, but yet we still operate on the basis of believing them. So um, the piece in the other room is called Heal. It's made of um, about 40 pounds of recycled surgical scrubs. And there's a cast iron element to it as well. And it's dealing with the demise of our healthcare system and the fact that we've got to pay attention and do something about it. Um, it, it actually came out of Katrina because after Katrina, our healthcare system collapsed. There were no hospitals open. The doctors all left town. They just they had to go you know, where work was and where hospitals were. And it was a very scary place to be. And people were getting sick from all the residue of the flood and the toxic water that had been there and the, the mold that developed afterwards. So it was scary. And I felt that New Orleans was the canary in the coal mine for the rest of the country. For the longest time, most of my pieces were Katrina based. For one thing, I was working with materials I was pulling out of the streets, um, but I also, I was displaced for six months, and it's, um, I tried to move back when they opened up my neighborhood, and I 
became ill. I mean, the, it was just so toxic that I couldn't stay there. So I ended up staying away for six months, and I'm, you're staying in other people's houses, you know, and, and I, I had to work. I was, I was really, really obsessed with making work, and I guess I, it was how I was, how I was processing things. There's a big movement within New Orleans and without New Orleans. Uh, okay, enough Katrina already. And um, I, I, my work is moving away from that. I know it seems as if I'm obsessed with it, but um, it now it, 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 it colors my work and inflects it, but it's, I'm not focusing on Hurricane Katrina as a theme by any means. I'm, if I refer to it, it is what Hurricane Katrina has to teach the rest of our country. And I think the, the victims of the floods in the Midwest and the fires on the West Coast and, and tornadoes everywhere are finding out that we, we don't really have much of a support system. There's, there's not much in place. And we need to be proactive and start to pull together as a country and help each other more and get our systems to work and our infrastructure rebuilt. Uh, so it's moving me forward into broader themes and hopefully any reference to Katrina is used only to remind people that there but for the grace of God go you. <laughs>